Nigerian security with a Bubuago kidnapping, killing, arresting human organs in the southeast, IPOP alleged. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Monday accused the Nigerian security agent of collaborating with the Southeast Security Outfit, Ebubu Agu, to abduct Igbo youth in the region. IPOP alleged that Nigerian security agents, in collaboration with Ebubu Agu, kidnapped, killed, and arrest vital organs of their victims across the Southeast. Who are they arresting the organs for? Is it that they are not selling organs, human organs? To prepare pepper soup or what? How can they just be killing innocent souls and arresting their organ? Or are they selling human parts to doctors, to herbalists, or to who? This call for a great concern. A more powerful, the spokesman of IPOP said they have turned the kidnapping and arresting of organs from Igbo youth into a lucrative business. They said, this must stop. A statement by powerful reads with the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our great leader, Mazen Namdekanu, wish to state clearly to all and sundry that the Nigerian Joint Task Force comprising Ibubuyagu, Nigerian Army, Police, Civil Defense Corps, and DSS agents representing the image and interests of the evil Nigerian security outfit are evidently known as criminals and armed robbers, kidnap sponsors, armed runners, lenders and murderers of the innocent citizens in Biafra land. The JTF kidnapping enterprise established or revamped by evil politicians in Imo State and their new operation spot within where they lay criminal ambush and conveniently abduct for ransom, as their name implies, task force. They now kidnap all classes of people daily within Okboro, Umuna, Amafeke, Uwariberi, Umatenzi, and Akata in the local government area of Imo State. They continue their dangerous rape against our females and mothers in the Olu zone of Imo State. It has become imperative to state that the Nigerian government and our security operatives have turned the kidnap and killing of IPOP and Igbo youth as a lucrative enterprise through which they generate revenue for the Nigerian government. Which kind of revenue will they be generating with killing of innocent souls? I hope these allegations are verifiable and the government too needs to stand up and check if this allegation from the JTF and other military apparatus mentioned above, if this is real, then we're in big shit, we're in big trouble in this country. They are also deeply involved in arresting the organs of our youth in Imo State and other parts of Biafra land. I begin to wonder. Why are they arresting their organs? To do what? I pop call on Governor Opus of Dima of Imo State and all Progressive Congress APC to stop the security agents from killing Igbo youth. Powerful also call one end to the burning of properties in the Southeast by security agents and Ibubu Agu. Ebibu Agu is the formation, the idea of the Southeast governors. If they are really perpetrating this act, can the leaders of Oanese meet them and mention all these atrocities mentioned by Apple? Is it not their people? Can they not sit down together and find out why this is happening? If it is happening. And if it is not happening, the truth must be known. We cannot be in a society where we'll be killing ourselves just because we don't want certain people. The unfortunate thing at this that is happening is for the people of the South is not outsiders. So why will an insider come in and be killing his people? 
are raising their organs. For what? Well, let's continue with the news. He said Governor Obuzo Dima, his government and political party, APC, are aware that IPOP is a peaceful movement and will call on him to recall the killing machine he assembled to exterminate our people. And these are witty allegations. Are they saying the governor of Imo State is aware of all these atrocities? Our demand to him is to instruct the killing squad of military and Ebubuagu militia to immediately desist from the further killing of his people and abacate Olu and the entire Imo State, where the indigenous people of Biafra have had enough of the criminality and murder being perpetrated by this murderous combined government militia because all those politicians behind these devilish activities will soon regret they are being involved in such wickedness better. If they know who to call, if they know who to get arrested, I think it's better. Two wrongs also make a right. If they know people that are behind this thing, let them call them. The security operatives are there. The traditional rulers are there. The organizing, the umbrella body of the Igbos, they are there. Why not get to meet them and mention all these people if they know that they are the people perpetrating this act. We demand for an immediate halt to these operatives and burning down of people's properties and houses to avoid equal consequential resistance from IPO, which no one should blame IPO when it starts because we will not continue to condone such barbaric act. The activity, the separatist group called the attention of the international communities to the alleged killings of Igbo youth in calling the international communities to pay attention to those barbaric acts and draw their focus to the plight of our people. We deem it proper to commend Amnesty International, Intersociety Group and few others for standing on the side of truth as they have previously covered and documented genocide crime against Biafrans and the unharmed defenseless IPOP family members by the Nigerian military and the police. We call again for you to know that the killings and abduction have increased exponentially and have been silently perpetrated by the security agencies and the disappearance of young people in Igbo land with the harvest of their organs in Olu Imo state and killing of Biafran youth have become the order of the day in Biafra land. If they know the international community to contact, it is better they go ahead and mention all these things. We remind the international communities that their silence is not golden. Rather, let them speak their opinion and involvement speaks volume. I think for me it is better to contact the international communities and mention this atrocity with detailed information. The national community, like Amnesty International, is a neutral body, and whatever information made available to them will definitely be looked into. And I'm sure they will shout and investigate and come back to tell the community and the people the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Well, this all that is happening in the Southeast, especially in Imo State, with this killing and harvest of heart organs, is not in the best interest of anybody. Honestly, I believe it is time for the Southeastern states, their political leaders, their traditional leaders, the leaders of the IPOB, MASOB, and every other group agitating for one thing or the other, for them to come together and bring peace into that region of this country. Well, what is your opinion about what is happening in the Southeast? Generally, with all these agitators, kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.